Welcome back to How to Run a Business, Part 2, Episode 3. So today, we're going to talk about how to build a website. I know, I know. You're like, late. it's been a week. And we're just learning about how to build a website. I done already found out how to do that from somebody else. Then click off this video. What you what you still doing here? This is for the people that still need to know. You better hop off, bro. We trying to educate the masses over here. What I want to use today is Shopify. Now, I don't know if you ever heard of Shopify. For the people that are probably tired about Shopify, I know you're like, everyone uses Shopify. Yeah, because it's good. One thing I'm going to say right now, have multiple emails, at least three. A personal email, a backup email, and when you want a business, use a business email. But if you're just a regular person and here just because you love me, then have a burner email, you know, basically a fake email that you only use for sites you don't trust and apps you know you're gonna delete soon. Have multiple emails always. For your personal and business account, definitely choose a different email. I mean, definitely use a different password than what you use from like all your apps and social media because hackers exist. Store name is called Alea Create Store. So I know you just see me sign in and you be like, Lay, it's really that simple? Yeah, this ring like hot. So when you go to your store, make sure your password protection is on. You don't want nobody searching up your full name and this undone website shows up. I mean, it might not happen, but it could. It's a possibility. The apps you will need today will be number one, Canva. Number two, any other type of app of your choice. And number three, Shopify. A lot of other people can use different platforms. There's Wix, there's GoDaddy, there's Big Cartel. Me personally, I use Shopify. Right now, I'm using a demo store. This is not my actual store. But when you first come to Shopify, you should go to. We're going to look up a baseball cap. After you have your products, you would, of course, take plenty, 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 plenty of pictures. Now you have your products. So the first part of you're going to add, say it was this denim hat right here. You're going to click that, done. I will always say come up with a catchy title, anything that you think is eye-catching. Because you want to stand out. There could be someone with the same exact products as you, but theirs could be denim baseball cap. And yours could be, ain't no cap in my rep. You're going to write out the description, anything that will seem also eye-catching, and you will add your price. And your price could be about 15 for this, right? But you can add anything you want. Now, if you're all about your corn, all about your corn. If you're all about your coin and people can, and you got people who can pay the prices that you want to add taxes, sheesh, but I know about me and I don't like paying taxes, so I'm not going to make someone else pay taxes. That's just me. You would click this to be active so it can show up on your store. And then for inventory, right here, most of the stuff that you order, there would be a barcode on the package. You can scan that and add it there and that would be you know you could track it all that other stuff this is a lot you can explore with this app i personally don't use any of this let's say you have about 40s in stock you click save and when it comes to actually building your website you would go to manage themes so you would go to customize and then this would be image with text overlay. This is what we, we would use Canva for. For Canva, I recommend um, getting Canva Pro because once you really get into Canva, you're never going to stop using it. I use Canva for everything. We could get into that in another video one day, but for today, we're just going to breeze through it. So, if you go to Elements, let's look up. You can look up just about anything and it'll show up. So, we're gonna do hats. Look at that. There's a hat. Today we're gonna look at this right here. You would add your picture, whatever you want your logo to be. I really like cursive fonts. As you can see from my whole entire channel banner. Most of their small fonts like this. You could choose a hundred and it will still be good. Here's what I would do for a white font. 
this type of background I would put it here and then I would click the three dots and I would go to effects I would add a shadow or lift like that just anything to not make it seem as just to make it seem like it's a little bit more to it I'm gonna use echo you go to photos type in any color you want this is the best thing ever that you could use because it's just not a basic background and let's save this save it see so we're gonna go back to your website okay, you would click this right here select image clear this out this is where you would add your text overlay but for the sake of this video since i already did it it's not going to be there now let's add a few more products when it comes to me i can't never just do a basic title so the hat is black so we're gonna do black panther let's say because this is a basic color it's only ten dollars so usually when it comes to adding different variants like colors and sizes you would then add a picture of that said color that said size but since we clearly only have black we don't have to do that So what I did was I added a collection so that I could go here and then mark this, select that. And here they are. So I noticed you heard me say that you should always keep your password protection on, but in order to take it off, you gotta pick a plant. So the thing about Shopify is they allow you to get, I think either a week or two up um, a week or two free trial and you could just cancel it if you really don't like Shopify that's why I would say get your products and get sure just make sure you have everything before you do your website so that once you add it and you see how it looks you can be like oh okay I kind of like this apps you can use to link it just like how there's an Instagram shop there's a Facebook shop if you link your Facebook shop to Shopify, anything that you add on there or take away, it would do the same exact thing on Facebook. Facebook has a lot of aunties, uncles, grandmothers, so for a media family, if you want them to see it and don't got time to send it to everyone, Facebook is the way to go. This is just the basics of Shopify. If you want to know exactly what else you can use with this, any other features that you could use or partake in for Shopify, then we would have to keep tuning in, turn the post notifications, and keep commenting your keep commenting down below any type of questions, concerns, you could email, you could do all of that jazz. Thank you for watching. Have a very blessed and loving and fulfilling day. And I'll see you next time for another video.